Assalamualaikum geng Salam sejahtera Mana Sam? Hari ni petang hari hari Bukan hujung minggu Hari minggu biasa Jadi kami tak ada benda nak buat sangat Kami ada beli <laughs> Makanan je nak melepak Dekat taman-taman sini Ramai yang tahu kan Sam dah pernah datang Malaysia banyak kali How many times have been to Malaysia? Three times hmm, Okay So <laughs> ah, Jadi Sam tahulah perbezaan antara Malaysia dan Amerika kan Tempat Sam lahir Jadi hari ni aku nak Tanya Sam Apa benda yang ada dekat Malaysia Yang lagi best atau lagi lagi baik ah daripada di Amerika Syarikat ni. <laughs> Cuaca agak sejuk sebab musim luruh hampir tiba. <laughs> Ramai juga ah yang pakai lengan panjang sini. Buat terlalu sejuk. Eh, hey, spray. Okay. Oh, Amin. Amin. Hmm. <laughs> So uh, this time I want to ask you a few questions. Okay. And you have been to Malaysia, like you said, three times, right? Yes, and I lived there too. Oh, uh, for six oh, months. Oh, for six months. Half a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we're going to talk about the things that you think are better in Malaysia compared to the U.S. Okay. There's uh, actually a lot of things. Really? There's a lot of things? It feels like it. Yeah. So, I would say the first thing that I think is better in Malaysia mm -hmm. are the bathrooms. <laughs> the bathroom? Yeah, because the stall is all the way to the floor in Malaysia. Almost every single bathroom I've been to in Malaysia. But in America, mm -hmm. there's about mm, three feet or two and a half feet. Oh, yeah. Like from the ground up that you can just like see under yeah. the stall. So if you're going to the bathroom, somebody can see if you're standing, if you're sitting, yeah. or <laughs> things like that. Which... Yeah, that's right. Because the first time I came to the US, the bathroom there, it makes me think like, who wants to go there? Because people can see you from the outside. There's a very big gap. And if you just walk by in front of the door, you can see people in the inside doing their things. Right. <laughs> We don't want people to see that. So when I went to Malaysia and I realized that most of the bathrooms had Small, long, private, long yeah. doors. Right. It was very nice. Yeah. Not just the, the bottom part, but... But the side. Yeah, the side. They have right. side gaps in America. So like, there's a space. It's like, you could put your eye through and yeah. see if you were being really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the first way Malaysia is better than the US. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, because that still bothers me until now. <laughs> I live in the US, but that still bothers me. Hmm. It bothers me too, and I've lived here my whole life, so <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why. <laughs> okay, second thing that Malaysia has, and it's better. Okay. <laughs> the US. <laughs> what is that? Ready? Yep. The second thing would be that in Malaysia, at restaurants where you sit down, you don't have to pay tips. Oh, well, they don't expect tips, right? Mm. But in America, it is definitely expected that you will tip at least 15 to 20 percent of your bill. Mm, yeah, that's really a good one. It feels so weird here because in Malaysia, if you go to restaurants, if you read the, their menu and you see the prices, and that's what you'll pay. But here in America, you see the price. For example, if you buy a fried rice and you'll see it is five dollars, but when you want to pay, probably be like six dollars and then you still have to add tips too right mm -hmm. like, like usually people pay fifteen dollars if eh, sorry fifteen percent yeah mm -hmm. fifty percent of the total bill to twenty percent yeah twenty percent is very average nowadays to pay for a restaurant where they wait on you not a restaurant when you go to the counter and pay there but when they come to the table bring you drinks bring your food those kind of restaurants sit down restaurants and we also have tax on our foods too mm -hmm. at restaurants. So that also makes your bill go higher, which is disappointing. Yeah, but if you go to restaurants to buy takeaway food, you don't actually have to pay tips because they actually don't serve you. 
Yeah. So you only have to bait it when they serve you. You know, the waitress, waitresses come to your table and they ask you what you want and they give you food. So the third thing that is better in Malaysia than in America would be online bank transfers. So what I mean by that is from what I've heard from you in Malaysia, you can just transfer from any bank, even if it's not the same bank, to another bank and they can transfer money easily like yeah, that. They can get the money right away. But here, you cannot transfer from one bank to another bank and the money does not go immediately. But there in Malaysia, apparently, it goes right away. And that's really cool because here, that would never happen. Sometimes it's 24 hours if it's like late in the evening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if it's on the weekend, like on a Friday night after closing hours, it won't be until Monday. Mm -hmm. It just depends, like you don't always know. Yep, and also sometimes if you want to transfer between different banks, you have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pay a fee just to do that. But in Malaysia, you can transfer to any banks, local banks, and you don't have to pay anything and you'll get the money right away. <laughs> okay, the fourth one. Okay, the fourth thing that's better in Malaysia than in America would be the fast food restaurants. <laughs> and I don't mean the type of food, well, sometimes I mean the type of food, but mainly I mean the way that they look and also like the reason you go there. So mm -hmm. in Malaysia, from what you've told me, people go to fast food restaurants when it's like a special treat or like something. Used to, used to. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, still the restaurants in Malaysia that are fast food restaurants with a drive-through is what I mean. Mm -hmm. Those ones are always like really fancy in Malaysia mm -hmm. and like they look very high class and nice inside. People go inside and sit down and eat. Yep. Here in America, they're just kind of like, not low class, but like it's somewhere where you go and you don't have a lot of money to spend on food or when you just want a fast meal and you just go yeah. through the drive-thru and then you leave. You never eat there really and mm -hmm. the places don't ever look that nice. Nice. Yo, and also because <laughs> in the US, people go to fast food when they don't have money. I mean, not always, but usually because it is quite cheap. Uh, the fast food restaurants here in the US is quite cheap. But in Malaysia, people go to fast food restaurants when they actually have money. <laughs> and they just get paid and they'll go to fast food restaurants because usually fast food meals are more expensive than regular food that we usually eat. For example, fried rice probably costs five ringgit, six ringgit. But a fast food restaurant, if you go to McDonald's and you buy a cheeseburger, it probably costs 14 ringgit already. So the price difference is huge and you feel like you want to eat at fast food restaurants when you are in Malaysia. Yeah. But when you come back to the US, do you want to go there? Uh, only sometimes, <laughs> out of convenience, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. The fifth thing that is better in Malaysia than in America are the gas prices. And I don't mean how much you pay for gas. What I mean is that everywhere you go in America, the gas prices are different between different gas stations. And then also they are different between different states. So anywhere you go, it could be different prices of gas. But in Malaysia, it's the same price everywhere you go. Yep. No matter which gas station, right? Yeah, we standardized. <laughs> <laughs> the difference probably might be 10 cents or 20 cents more, yeah. or 20 cents less. But if you go to the other states, for example, Nebraska, and you go to, what else? California state, mm -hmm. and the gas price probably be like two dollars difference right yeah like two dollars <laughs> higher because on the coast it's always more expensive mm -hmm. than in the midwest mm -hmm. okay let me just check um how much is it in omaha <laughs> just to show you guys omaha gas price okay right now omaha the city where we are right now it's about 3.6 three dollars sixty cents the average price okay los angeles la a lot of nation know LA. Yeah. Los Angeles. The gas price there costs six dollars ten cents. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. Almost twice. <laughs> yeah. That's difference. Just for the different state. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's getting a little chilly <laughs> and windy here now, so yep. we might wanna wrap it up for tonight. To those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We would really <laughs> appreciate it. Yep. Well, assalamualaikum. Bye.